qual que é a sua visão do mercado dos Estados Unidos, né? E qual que é mais fácil, nos Estados Unidos ou no Brasil é mais fácil de fazer dropship? So, I've been here in Brazil um, four times in the last five months. I've been coming out here a lot um, because I see a huge opportunity in Brazil. Um, basically, to sum it up, it feels like Brazil is about five years behind the U.S. So everything that worked for me five years ago is working for people here in Brazil. Um, it's actually a lot easier to be successful here in Brazil than it is in the U.S. because there's less competition on ads. The way it, ads work is that the more people that are spending money on ads, the more it costs you to get your ad seen. And now in the U.S., there's all these huge companies spending money on ads that it's hard to compete with. Um, so in the U.S., to be successful, you need to build a brand. Um, you need to have a, a store that your customers come back to over and over again because you might actually lose money on your first sale. If it costs you $50 to acquire a customer, Uh, that's paying you $40, you're losing money. But if that customer comes back three more times and pays $40 three more times, that's an extra $120. And the only way to get repeat customers is to have a brand or some kind of continuity. So the US uh, is all about brands. Um, also, TikTok is, I think you understood that word, TikTok. Uh, <laughs> TikTok is a, a huge opportunity. It's a new ad platform. Um, people are just starting to get onto it, so it's very cheap to advertise. And you have more and more buyers that are on TikTok now. It's the, the demographic of the people on the platform is getting older, so those people will actually buy your products. So in Brazil, it's all about rapid fire, testing as many products as you could, and finding a reliable supplier when you scale so that your shipments can go out. In the US, it's all about building a brand for repeat customers, and that will be the case in Brazil because Brazil is just five years behind the US. So if people in Brazil want to be successful, uh, really all you need to do is look at what's happening in the US right now and start following that because you'll be ahead of the curve. Mas por que que vocês estão vindo para o Brasil, né? Já chegou com um escritório gigante nos melhores bairros aqui da Savassi, né? Que é aqui em BH. Me conte mais, por que que você está vindo com tudo para o Brasil? So Brazil is a huge opportunity for us um, because the market here is growing. Like I mentioned, uh, Brazil is you know, just five years behind the US. So for us to be able to get ahead of the dropshipping curve because we know what's going to happen here, it's a big opportunity for our company. Um, also, Brazil is very innovative. There's uh, a huge growing digital marketing and e-commerce scene. Um, and we have solutions that can help people scale their business and do better. Um, aside from that, we found many talented people here in Brazil. Uh, we found a lot of passionate people that are helping us on our mission. And, um, you know, it's just, it's a big growth opportunity for us to come in and expand internationally. Uh, aside from that, launching a company in another country, right? Us coming to Brazil, it's almost like starting a whole separate company because the language barrier, the cultural barrier, the laws, you know, the tax rules, etc. cetera. Uh, so, Although we're leveraging the same back end and, and fulfillment and solutions that we have, um, there's so many new things that we're doing here in Brazil that we need a team here. And we're actually hiring out some of our uh, holding companies, leadership team in Brazil, some marketing tech people, because they're very talented. Uh, and we, you know, we can get a lot for our money um, here as well. So um, yeah, that's why we're here. Explica mais para a gente, com mais detalhes, né? o que a Zendrop faz, né? o que ela vai trazer de benefícios para as pessoas que utilizarem a plataforma. Yeah, if you're a dropshipper and you use Zendrop, you'll know the benefits right away. Uh, but the main things are that we have you know, close to a million products you can choose from that ship anywhere around the world. Uh, we have an operation in China where we work with many different shipping lines. We work directly with factories so we can get low prices. Um, every package that gets shipped out from Zendrop, we actually print out a custom branded thank you card, put it in the box and ship it out. So it, it feels like it came from your brand as opposed to, um, you know, a random Chinese factory. Um, aside from that, we have a no questions asked refund policy. So if you refund your customer, uh, we'll issue you a refund on Zendrop. You don't have to come chase us down. Um, we have a bunch of other great features like product bundles, uh, subscription boxes, auto fulfillment. The idea is that when you scale your dropshipping store, you want to have a supplier you can trust. You don't want to worry about, you know, are these products going to get shipped out? Actually, when I was a big dropshipper myself, 
I had a supplier that I was working with for about a year uh, and I was doing about 2000 orders a day and the supplier decided he wanted to make extra money. So he didn't ship out my products. He actually sent me 7,000 fake tracking numbers at $50 each. You can do the math. Uh, and it was really challenging to get my business back from that because people didn't get their orders. You know, the, the site got a bad reputation and I basically had to start over. So if you work with Zendrop, uh, we're a supplier that you can trust. Um, we're here. We're not overseas somewhere else. You can literally come see us. And um, yeah, our whole goal is to make your life easier. A gente está aqui falando de dropship, aquela coisa toda, né? Mas tem muita gente que não sabe o que é dropship ainda, né? Explica com mais detalhes o que é o dropship, como que funciona o dropship. Um, dropshipping is my favorite business model um, because it takes little to no upfront capital um, and you can sell anything you want without having to go buy products and buy inventory. So the way dropshipping works is um, you decide what you want to sell, you add it to your store, your Shopify store, and then you sell it, and then we ship it out to your customer for you. So you never need to buy inventory. Um, and it's cool because if you want to succeed in e-commerce, the goal is to test as many products as you could until you find one that's profitable. And if you weren't drop shipping, you would have to be spending tens or hundreds or millions of dollars on inventory to be able to test that many products. With drop shipping, you could simply one click, add 20 different products to your store, run ads to all 20 of them, see which one people buy, and then scale those ones. So the beauty of it is, is there's, there's no upfront capital for inventory. Um, you could sell anything, you could test anything, and you could sell as much as you want without running out of products. So don't leave me alone.